Hi everyone, it's Miss Judy and we are going to enjoy a little art outside of the box tonight. Since the weather's changed, it's fall, I've been um, thinking leaves that are turning and some different fall projects that we can make, possibly even to give away as gifts around the holidays. So I had, um, I was inspired by something a friend of mine said, uh, we were talking about tiles and different things and I had these tiles around the house that someone had given me, they're ceramic floor tiles. And I thought, well, why can't I just make a nice little decorative piece out of it? So I was walking my dog, I picked up some leaves out of my backyard. Um, I found a saying that I really liked, it's from an author. Every leaf speaks bliss to me, fluttering from the autumn tree by Emily Bronte. And I had some Mod Podge and I just kind of put this together and I thought it was kind of fun. So the tiles, like I said, were given to me, but you could probably go to a local flooring store and I would imagine they have some that are maybe slightly chipped or damaged that they would give to you. Or I don't think that it would be that expensive to buy one. And you don't need one this big. This is a, a 12 by 12, but this will work for a smaller piece as well. But the process is pretty simple. Um, what I did do, because I, I felt like this was a little bit light, so I took some acrylic paint. I wanted to age it a little bit. And I've got kind of a um, an ochre color here and then a darker brown. And this will dry really quickly. But I just used a damp paper towel. It's a little bit much. I'm going to spread that out. And I kind of just modeled, dabbed that on there just to age this a little bit and give it a little bit richer tone. I thought that would work better. I want this kind of to look old. So this is a good technique you can use on paper or other surfaces too if you want it to have that sort of old vintage type look. And this will dry real quickly. I'll leave the center a little bit lighter. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of the dark brown to this. Just kind of dab it on there and go around the very edge with that. If you get too much on and you don't like it, you can easily dab it off. I'll just do the corners a little bit. Okay. So that's real simple and that'll dry very quickly. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. I did print out another um, a fall saying. This one's different. This is summer is a second spring when every leaf is a flower. And that quote is from Albert Camus. He's a, um, a philosopher, a long gone philosopher, but I did like that quote. So I'm gonna take the same rag and I'm just going to go over this stark white paper so that'll blend in when I go to adhere it to the tile. See, makes a big difference right there. All right, I cheated. It was a little chilly this morning and I was kind of running short on time. So rather than taking a walk like I should have and picking up leaves out of the yard, I used my printer and I found some colorful fall leaves and I just printed them off. So the next thing you want to do is make a pleasing arrangement and I'm going to turn this towards me to start with and then I'll turn it towards you. But you want to make good use of the different colors that you have and I'm, I'm going to sort of make this as a frame. We'll lay this here too because this is going to go just about center. But you can overlap things. I like to do that. And I also like to work in add numbers. Maybe that says something about me, but um, it's, a good, it's a good thing to follow. Spread your colors out. You don't have to have everything exactly the same, but just get kind of a design that you like. Make these look like they're, they're falling. And when you're happy with that, you can get started. 
All right, I think I can turn this towards you and work. This tile's quite heavy. So I like this Mod Podge. If you have any of this, this works perfect for this project and there's a lot of other things you can do with this too. If you don't have this and it's pretty readily available at Walmart, Meyer, any craft store, you can use some water, watered down glue. It'll do the same thing, although it's not quite as easy to work with. So I'm just gonna pour some of this out. It's gonna take quite a bit. And this is another one of those projects that is going to have to dry overnight. It will look not too desirable when we're done with it here today, but once it dries, um, you'll be surprised. It gets this nice sheen on it and everything sticks down permanently. This only has one coat. You can put more than one coat. Ideally, you would wanna put probably three or four quote, coats down so that your edges are smooth and flush with the tile, but that's up to you. This isn't gonna go anywhere. These are, are stuck pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna peel these back right now, but I do kind of have the arrangement that I want. And I'm going to place this first. So you put a little of this on the back, that'll act like glue. A little bit on your surface. You don't have to be real neat with this either because it dries clear. So you're not gonna see this when you're finished. All right, and then I'm gonna put a coat on top just to get started. It's okay if you've got some overlaps on that. Once we get everything placed on here, we can go in and smooth all of it out. So, put this one down. Hopefully everyone's ready for fall. It kind of went from uh, swimming weather to grab your jacket and your boots in about a day, but it's pretty, kind of a nice change. Feel free, um, whenever you make one of the projects that we do, we'd love to see it. So if you'll post it on Facebook. Also, if you'd like, comment and share we appreciate that too, so more people can get to see our posts. And you can always catch us on our YouTube channel. If you've missed something. All right, I want this red one here. So this is pretty fun. You do have a couple of minutes here if you decide that you've misplaced something, you can go in and peel it off, but see how I'm kind of overlapping those? That's going to give me a nice, a nice look. Put this dark red down here. If you're going to use white glue, you want it to be about that consistency. It's kind of like a, oh, a, a tomato soup, I'm going to say, not too thin but not too thick. This little guy right here. Here we go. I will tell you that these leaves are going down much easier than the, than the real leaves. So that's something you might wanna consider if you can uh, get to a printer. And we can do printing for you here too, so. Keep that in mind. All right, I've almost, almost got this finish. So there's a lot of things that you can do with this. Um, it's basically just collage and I like the surface to work on because it's, it's permanent. And we'll put one more down at the bottom. A 
we'll stick this right here. All right, so everything is laid out. And then your next and last step is going to be to cover this whole thing with your Mod Podge. I'm gonna, whoa, I didn't need quite that much, but I'm gonna need a fair amount to do this with. And as these things pop up on you, you can just kind of take your finger or your brush and stick them down there again. Make sure all your little corners get stuck down. And you'll be surprised what this looks like in about an hour and a half. It's best to let it dry overnight but I had a couple of um, a couple of good coats on some of these leaves and in about an hour and a half everything was clear and I was able to put another coat on and then by this morning when I came back into work it was completely dry all right so you get the idea here this was a fun project I've got a lot of other ideas for things like these I'd like to make some smaller ones um, also, I don't know if you remember my friend Lynn Casey, she was with me last week to do the planter, but a few months ago she was here and she did photo transfer on tiles and she used Mod Podge, a photo on some printer paper, and a tile, she did it on paper and she did it on metal. So if you invest in just a couple of materials, there's a, a really a lot of things you can do with this. And your imagination is the only thing that'll stop you. So I've got this just about covered and it looks like everything is stuck down here well. And we are going to call this done. So I'll come back and look at this a little bit later this afternoon. And if I see any little edges sticking up, I'll go back in and smooth those down and I may even put another coat of Mod Podge on this just to make sure everything's sealed. But that's it. Doesn't look like much now, but in a little while, I think you'll be really pleased with your project. Thanks for joining me once again. It's always great to see you. I'm happy to be here. I've got some ideas uh, for weeks coming up of some really cool stuff we're gonna try. It'll be experimental, but I think we'll enjoy it and we'll learn something from it. So have a great weekend, everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye.